It's a rainy day in Kampala, Uganda. Here, supplies of butter and soup, as well as boxes of soap, are loaded onto a truck. This is the domain of linear distributors. The company basically started as a small trading in general merchandise uh, run by my wife when I was still working. And uh, in 1987, uh, then later on in 2001, there was an opportunity to distribute for Unilever, starting with the suburbs of, of Kampala. Then later on we grew into, uh, into the central business. Today, linear distributors are the sole suppliers of Unilever products in the busiest part of Kampala. Yeah, the, the business is good. Uh, you see, as you know, Unilever's goods, Unilever's brands are household items. They are known world over. The, there is hardly any home which can do without at least one or two brands of Unilever. So you could say in terms of fast moving and turnaround, uh, the, the business is very interesting. Sufficient stock holding is crucial to a distribution company and is one of Unilever's critical requirements in selecting a distribution partner. When we're looking for uh, distributors, there's a, there's a certain criteria that, that, that we tend to follow. Um, the current business that the person is in, the attitude of the person doing that business, um, finance, um, infrastructure, and, and linear, linear, linear uh, distributors limited met all this, this, this criteria. It's, it's a very deep and thorough process. Some customers come when they need things urgently and they can not wait until the truck comes to Unilever to pick the, what? the goods. But when the store is near to the customer and then the customer comes, I need this and it's available in the store, then that is very good. Distributors have investments to make. Uh, they invest in uh, finance because they have to buy the goods from us. They invest in trucks because they have to redistribute and supply the traders. They invest in human resource, sales, guy, uh, sales people, both uh, ladies and gentlemen. And then you will have a warehouse where they will store their goods. So it's a, it's a bit of a, an investment to make. And therefore, as Unilever, uh, we bring in business partners and protect that interest. Okay, so someone, depending on the level of investment that one is, is willing to make, will be given a geographical area where we feel that that place has potential to, to, to reap benefit from the, from the investment that he has made. Unilever's distributors are allowed a maximum profit margin of between 6 and 7%. This recommended pricing standardizes the cost to consumers who rely on the good value of all Unilever labels. We want them to make profit. That's why they invest. But it's not about only how much you take, but about your turnover. How, how, how fast you rotate that. Because if you take a truck and sell it in a day and come back and pick another truck, you'd rather take a small profit margin and sell more than take a huge profit margin and take a month to sell that. Yeah, it's a simple... And, and our brands sell quite well. I'm sure Linia will tell you that.